Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the ver verbal phrase and mathematical expressions. It is very important, especially when you are dealing with the word problems. So better pay attention in our topic for today. So these are the things you need to learn in the symbols and its meaning. So we have different symbols here. So if you're going to encounter the word plus, sum, increase, more than, exceed, you're going to use the plus sign. And if you are going to encounter the word minus, less than, subtract, difference, you're going to use the minus sign. And for multiply, times, product, you're going to use parenthesis, the x, or the times symbol, and that which indicate our multiplication sign. And if you will encounter the word divide and quotient, the following symbol you're going to use. And equal is equal to, you need to write the equal sign. Is not equal to, this will be the sign. Less than, greater than, is greater than or equal to, is greater than or equal to. Or if you're going to encounter is at most, we're going to use this symbol. Is great. Uh, is less than or equal to, less than or equal to. We're going to use that symbol, and if you will encounter is at least, we're going to use this symbol. Now, to better understand, let's have the following verb, verbal phrase. We're going to write the mathematical phrase, the equivalent in mathematical phrase. Number one. 6 increase by a number n. So we have 6 increase. So where is increase? Refer to our table. So increase by a number n. By n. So the mathematical phrase is 6 plus n. So it can be 6 exceed by a number n, or it can be 6 plus a number n. Next, 9 less than b. So 9 less than b. And do not be confused in our symbol here, less than. So in this case, we're talking about 9 less than b. We're going to subtract 9 to B for number 2, B minus 9. And number 3, the product of 9 and M. So product, so it can be 9 times M or it can be 9 times m or simply 9m okay 9m next number four divide a number k by five so k we're going to divide by five or it can be k slash five or K divided by 5. So, those are the different ways to write in mathematical phrase. Number 5. Twice a number H. So, twice a number H. Twice a number H. Increase. Increase. 
by 7. Twice a number each increase by 7. And number 6, thrice, thrice the sum of D and 15. So we're going to get the sum of D and 15. Again, let us repeat. Thrice the sum of D and 15. And number seven, the sum of twice x, so the sum of twice x, and half of y. So we have twice x and half of y, one half of y. Twice x, that's why we have two x. We're going to get the sum, so we have plus half of y, one half of y, or it can be y over 2. 2x two plus y over 2, it's still the same, that's still correct. And number 8, the square of the sum of k and m. So the sum of k and m, k and m sum, so we need to use the plus sign, then square. The sum of k and m, then square it. So that's the use of our mathematical expression and verbal phrase. Again, you will use this in word problems. So answer all the exercises in your modules. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.